All right, we're here with James Howden. We call him Jim, Jimmy, Jimbo. And he has the, what I think it's pretty much undeniably the fastest front wheel drive car in the time attack scene right now. This thing won first in Unlimited at Global Time Attack Road Atlanta. Yep. And yep. he showed up here, pushed the car off the trailer, and in one lap beat the front wheel drive record by two three or four half, seconds. Two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds. Yeah. And then three and a half and yesterday. Three and a half yesterday. So to say the dude is on fire would be an understatement. And so we wanted to take a walk around with the car with them and really tell us why the car is so fast, Jim. Why? What's the secret? Type R, bro. Type R, bro, exactly. <laughs> What's under here? Let's have a look under the hood. Okay, okay. okay. Everyone thinks power makes a car fast, right? So let's start with the power. One, two, three. All right. So it has the obligatory case swap, obviously. Yep, yep. It's got a, uh, a K20, K24 built by our division. Uh, CP pistons, Gorilla rods, Brian Crower valve train, big K2 and intake manifold on yep. it. It doesn't make crazy power, it makes like 500 wheel horsepower. Okay. Um, it's supercharged. Yeah, yeah, Jackson, Ra Jackson Racing Supercharger. So uh, they've been really, really great. It's a road track, so what size road track is it? It's a C3891. The 91, so that's the biggest C3891. Uh, they, they make a 92 as well. They make a 92 as well. So about 17 pounds of boost. Okay. And uh, it works pretty good. A nice, very, reliable setup. Yeah, very linear. Not too much torque coming out of the corners. It drives a lot like an NA car. Okay. How much power does it make? 500 wheel horsepower. And torque? Uh, just a hair over 300. There you go. All right, and the gearbox? It's, uh, it's kind of a mishmash of OEM parts. It's an SI box okay. with a TSX third gear, yeah. an HPD fourth gear, yeah. OEM fifth gear, and DC5 Type R sixth gear with an OS Geiken diff. That HPD fourth seems to be the magic sauce. That's the gear that blows up most of these boxes? Typically, typically, yeah. So is that just like a super hardened gear? It's a super hardened gear and it's a slightly different ratio as well. It's okay. the same ratio as like a 2012 Civic SI. Okay. And so that package of all those gears spaced together makes it almost like a budget close ratio box. Gotcha, okay. I mean, it seems like a relatively simple setup and yet it's incredibly effective, which must have something to do with the rest of the package too. What, yep. what do you've got going on suspension and brake wise? Uh, so brakes, just an off the shelf StopTech SC40 kit. Okay. Uh, G-Lock, give us the pads, the R16 pads. They are just absolutely amazing. Really, I've never tried those. The pads have been on here for a season and a half now, and they still have like 50% life left on. Wow, that's amazing. The car does like 1.45 Gs under braking. Wow. And the pads last two seasons, and it's probably been on the track at least 20 times with these pads. That's incredible. They're 20 track days, I should say, not on the track 20 times. What's the company called? G Lock. G Lock. G -Lock. Never tried those. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So put, put that on the list, PT. We gotta try some G Lock. Right. <laughs> Um, and then suspension is K2 just came out with a set of prototype uh, K2 two way adjustable external reservoir coilovers. Okay. They're going to be available soon. This is the first set and they just seem to be working amazing. We put them on, we made a couple of little shock adjustments when we first went out testing. Yeah. I haven't really touched them since. And what spring rates? Uh, 22 kg in the front and I believe 18 kg in the back and they're swift springs. Okay, and yeah. spring, sway bars are bigger than? Uh, stock bar in the front and uh, Eibach uh, 25 mil in the rear. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's all it's just pretty simple pretty off simple the shelf stuff. stuff. Yeah. And it's obviously got, you've got a pretty aggressive aero package on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Burzma Racing built the splitter for it. And uh, Professional Awesome helped us out a little bit with, you know, the designing of things, little vents here and there yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I love the fender vents. Yeah, yeah, they've been really good. And you're running Hoosiers. Hoosier A7s. Uh, what size are they? Uh, 255, 35, 18 in the front and 225, 45, 17 in the rear. Okay, so you're not going as wide as some guys do in the front. No, no, it's, uh, it's really hard to get them to fit on the older chassis. Okay. So we're going to keep on trying to modify things and go a little wider. At some point, we'd like to go 285.30 in the front. Eh? Yeah. I, mean, I could have sworn you tried bigger tires in the past, or is this the biggest you've ever tried? Uh, we've tried a 275.35.17 Hoosier before, but yeah. we didn't have a wide enough rim, and it just wasn't working really good. This, this is the, the best the cars work so far with these tires on it. So I think on a 10 and a half inch wheel, this is a nine and a half. I think the 285 would be the hot setup. So what does the car weigh sitting here? Car weighs about 2,500 pounds with me in it. Okay, with you in it, okay. Yeah. So that makes it like 2,100 pounds.
Yeah. 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 <laughs> and inside, I mean, it's obviously a race car with a roll cage. Yep, yep, pretty, it's pretty simple. K2 and shifter box, we love that piece. So the OEM is really flexible and there's no adjustment to it at all. So the, these shifter boxes are adjustable side to side and front to back. Right. So you can keep the side to side motion, you know, fairly OEM, yep. shorten the front to back throw, and it's a really good combination. Nice. Yeah, I've seen a lot of guys running those. Yeah, ones. yeah. Other than that, it's just all business. Eh? Steering wheel, and, like no fancy digital dash. No. No, no. Motec in there. You're no. tuned on a, a Honda. Honda K Pro. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's yep. Kind of the. We have a we have an electric uh, power steering pump, an MR2 electric power steering pump. That's been huge. Yeah. With the big tires, we were no power steering before. Yeah. yeah. And since we've gone power steering, it's like night and day. Makes it a lot more drivable. Well, yeah. I wanted yeah. to do that in my car, but never got around. Yeah. It. Yeah. It's too lazy. Yeah. The rear arrow, obviously, you've got a nice. APR wing. Yep. Which, which one is this again? That's the GT250, 71 inches wide. Okay. Yeah. And you've got a diffuser underneath. Yep. Are yep. you are you flat bottom? I'm not. You're not. Okay. We will be probably for next season. Thinking of it. Yep. And you've built your own like side splitters. Yep. Yep. Russ uh, Russ Bercy uh, from Kitchener, Ontario. He yep. helped me with the side skirts, and he's probably going to be getting into this a little bit more. Oh cool. And uh, you know, just customizing things, kind of building what people want when it comes to that kind of stuff. And is there a fuel cell in the trunk? No. Nope. OEM tank. OEM tank. No. Nope. Like yeah. that. Did you never have Type R broke. Type R broke. That is Type R. Type R's had a different tank. Did they? I'm pretty sure. I'm 90% sure that they had it's like a, a little bit extra baffling around the pump. They run it pretty low on fuel, and we don't seem to have too many problems. Yeah, I can't ever remember having bigger problems in mind, but I wasn't pulling the kind of cheese here for Yeah. Well, we're gonna throw a GoPro in here so that we can see Jim uh, try to improve on his track record this morning. It's a nice cool day out. I think you. Yeah, you I think it should be a lot better. It was like. Uh, like you know, 10 degrees Celsius cooler than it was yesterday yeah. at this time. So I think it's going to make a big difference. The only problem might be that hand. He had a little accident. Uh, <laughs> look at this hand. It might be broken. We're not sure. We think we'll he see. was uh, fapping too hard last night. <laughs> Hopefully, I can still shift gears. <laughs> we'll try hard. I'd shake your hand, but I'll just say good luck. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Go fast. Thanks very much. Yeah. support what we're up to here you can check out our patreon page and if you don't that's cool too yeah <laughs>